it's the 21st century. Learning how to read a novel, write an essay, and derive a slope of a tangent isn't enough anymore. Generally, many Nigerian graduates are not only unemployed but unemployable as their skills are largely divorced from the labor requirements. Employers want graduates with both theoretical and practical knowledge and skills. Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Apia Attends. My name is Marvelous Apwamaga and today we are at the Innovation Factory Tech Hub in Nugu for the Employability Leverage 1.0 where youth will be learning how to reinvent themselves for the labor market. Before we go in for the enlightening section, let's have a chat with the organizer of the show. Okay, my name is Anthony Shomba and I'm a social activist, one of the 31 persons selected in Nigeria. And here in Unugu, I'm working under the thematic area of employment, trying to solve the problem of employment for the youth here in Enugu State. What inspired the, the project is this. I'm a young graduate, yes, and I was lucky to have also gotten employed almost at the same time that I graduated. And within this time, I realized that it's not really about me as a person, but actually about the opportunities I've actually opened myself up to. And this is something that many persons do not know about. You have opportunities there for you, from your environment, from your school, even the ones that you can create by yourself. My name is Owoma Nene Ifechelubi. I'm the founder of Belmont Cakes in Enugu and Port Harcourt. My name is Chief from Naya Wanju. I'm a lawyer turned project manager, I'm the founder of VR for the Child Foundation, an organization that fights against child sexual abuse. Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Noye Peters. I'm the creative business and strategy lead for Blue Africa Media and I was invited today to talk about finding opportunities in the creative media space as an undergraduate. Um, you always have to look within. What do you like? What are you good at? What gets you excited? You know, these are um, a few things that will guide you to make that choice. Then I always encourage people to open up to learning, go for courses. You can never tell what you love to do if you haven't been exposed to it. So it's important for you to keep learning till you find that thing that... Uh... You know, for me, I realized I was passionate about children, not only children, but I was burdened by the increase in the number of child sexual abuse cases. Like I said, I'm a lawyer. So that became a cause for me to What fight keeps you in business? What keeps you in that space? What makes people want to work with you is your virtue of service to them. Keep serving. When you serve your community as a volunteer, when you identify a problem and you stand up to fight for that problem, even if it's one person's life you're changing, you're also changing yourself. It doesn't happen in isolation. You can't change someone's life and you're not changing yourself, you're changing and yourself. And the more you expose yourself to knowledge, the more attractive you will be in the labor market. People will want you, even as a business person or as, you know, somebody that wants to be Having employed. Having the mindset so, of a salesman, you can't take away sales from creativity because it's not the photograph that makes the money. It's the ability to sell that photograph that gives you the money. It's not the film itself that makes the money. But for people to say, I'm going to buy a movie ticket. To Don't think you. that there's no hope. Don't think that you will not come out, that all your dreams are gone. You'll never amount to anything. Never let your schooling get in the way of your education. Schooling just tests your brilliance. Schooling just makes sure that you remember what you were taught in the classroom. But education tests your street smartness how you're able to communicate with people, build lasting relationships. Okay, we decided to start from the South is because charity begins at home, basically. It comes in two ways. First of all, the SUSO program is at its pilot stage. This is the first time that we're having the SUSO program. And because of that, the organizers have limit, uh, limited the activities to just activists from three states, Enugu, Lagos, and Abuja. And because of that, we were asked, yes, to start from our community. And that's a wrap on today's episode of APR 10. I hope you learned how to reinvent yourself for the labor market because I did. This event was amazing, honestly. I don't think I can go get over it. It's been a transformative journey altogether. So it's a good time to learn online and relearn. I learned that you should keep learning, even though it, it may not pay. Um, immediately but it, there is necessary because 
you are making a headway for your future. I learned how to become more creative as in leveraging on different hybridization of skills in application to employability leverage. Until our next event together, stay safe and keep watching Appear Sense on Appear TV. I am marvelous, I'm Kwamaga.